Hey y'all, I'm Melissa Guerra. I am the Kitchen Wrangler and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You know, I've got all of the best recipes from here in Texas and I just love sharing them with you. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And this week I am doing a pineapple pitcher margarita because Texas, we are, okay, we love beer. I'll be honest, we love beer, but right next to beer, we really love margaritas, especially in South Texas. If you get around San Antonio, well, San Antonio loves beer too. Anyway, the competition is very close between beer and margaritas and pineapple margaritas are just a little bit above. But most of the margarita recipes that I see out and about are for one margarita, for one person. Who are these people that are drinking margaritas by themselves? No one. <laughs> or you shouldn't. I mean, that's just sad. Like margaritas are meant to be enjoyed with a lot of folks. So I thought I would come up with a pitcher margarita for you because it makes no sense whatsoever to share a margarita recipe that is just for one person. So this is a pitcher. This is a pitcher. You can share it with your friends friends, but please do not contact me and tell me that you drank the entire pitcher by yourself because that is very much out of the spirit of what we are going for here. So call your friends, gather your ingredients, and let's get started on our pineapple pitcher margaritas. If you have time before your friends come over to your house for their margarita, this is a little hack. I'm gonna make ice cubes out of pineapple juice and I'll tell you why. I don't drink all that many cocktails, but when I do, I want it to be full strength. I don't want it to be diluted with some cheap old ice cube. I want a full flavor cocktail. I'm gonna make some ice cubes and all it is is pineapple juice that is poured into an ice cube tray. In some of these ice cubes, I'm going to add a slice of fresh jalapeno. Now it is not a very thick slice. It's very, very thin. It's gonna freeze well and it'll go into our drink. It gives it a little bit of extra flavor. It's a little fancy. I like it a lot. It's a great flavor with pineapple. And whether you enjoy your margaritas on the rocks or frozen, these pineapple ice cubes work either way. So I'll show you both methods. So I will show you both methods. Ugh. So I will show you both methods. That's so hard to say. I will show you both methods of making an on the rocks and a frozen margarita using these pineapple ice cubes. If you don't have time to make the ice cubes, no problem whatsoever, but it's always a level up. It, I always like to offer a level up if you have time to do it. Let's get started on the on the rocks version first. It's my very favorite version, I think because I can drink it faster. I'm assuming it's speed. And here's another way to level up your pineapple margarita. We are going to make fresh pineapple juice. You can use canned, absolutely. I'm not gonna come to your house and shame you for using canned pineapple juice. I have a slow juicer. If you have a slow juicer, you can definitely use that for making fresh pineapple juice. So I'm going to juice some pineapple and I'm gonna throw some limes in there. I need about a quarter cup of fresh lime juice. Now that I have the pineapple juice, the lime juice all together, I'm gonna add my tequila, my triple sec, and I'm gonna put the whole thing into the refrigerator so it can chill while I wait for my friends to come over. Another thing that we can do to level up our pineapple margarita is to make a rimmer. I have some margarita salt. I'm gonna empty that into a bowl. I'm gonna add some sugar. I'm going to add crystallized lime powder. We just need a little bit of tartness and this has the right flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of chile, stir the rimmer ingredients well so that they're well combined, cut a small wedge of fresh lime and rub that around the rim of your cocktail glass and then we're going to invert the glass rim into that rimmer salt and now the glass is ready let's add some of our pineapple ice cubes and we're going to pour our pitcher margarita over the top of the ice cubes oh and i made this cute little garnish too oh that looks so refreshing now let's make the frozen version now of course you're going to need an electric blender i put a link to my favorite blender below this is a great blender for beverages let's add our pineapple lime juice the tequila the triple sec and our pineapple ice cubes. Now these ice cubes I made without the jalapeno slice and I think they're just a little bit better for making a frozen pineapple margarita. Prepare your cocktail glass just like you did for the on the rocks version. Once your frozen margarita is well pureed, then simply pour it into your prepared glass. 
garnish, and enjoy. Cheers! And I hope that you enjoy these pineapple pitcher margaritas as much as we do. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me here today on my YouTube channel and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And you know, if you have any questions or requests, you can message me at help at kitchenwrangler.com or message me through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram, through YouTube, through TikTok. I'm always so glad to share these recipes with you and hear from you. I'm Melissa Guerra, I'm the Kitchen Wrangler and I'm looking forward to seeing you here at the ranch again soon. Bye now.